welcome to Mesa RC Elite. I've got Ashton here, and uh, we've been fighting for this kid's time, but you've been like tearing it up swimming. Yeah, I've been I've, doing a, I've been doing a lot lately, but uh, we only meet Elite once a week yeah. for like 45 minutes to an hour, so uh, time in the shop is pretty hard. Yeah, and how did you swim in all this? I did pretty good actually. Yeah. Did yeah. you win state qual? Mm, I mean, no, I uh, I swam in the state championships, but. I uh, didn't do like as good as the older kids did. Yeah. So. Well, you're only a freshman. Yeah. <laughs> Working on the Raptor this year, periodically, you kind of went to multi rotors for a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to get a race quad together with the quad lugs racing that we were trying to get together. But, yeah. uh, uh, and then I uh, came across a plan that I had started like uh, when I was an eighth grader here in the actual program. And I thought, well, might as well give it a shot. So uh, here's the final product. Yeah, it's amazing. It looks really cool. Uh, it's it's amazing, and your all your pieces fit in really nicely. Um, he's got a build video right after this uh, coming up the next day, and uh, you know Ashton, he kind of goes through his his uh, slow, meticulous way of of um, explaining everything. And uh, no, it it came out amazing. I mean, you did it again. This is your third product, right? Yeah, I think I think the third with the the eagle, the typhoon, and now the raptor. Yeah. So, but really, what we did was uh, we took the the frame from the F-35 Lightning that we created like last year or the year before yeah. and uh, we modified the structure so that it would fit the 22. I know we've done that with a lot of planes before. Right. So and it, was, uh, it was, it was one of those, um, oh, it was one of those cosmetic complaints from the customer. We had one complaint, um, but, but we knew it was, I mean it was true, it stuck out like a sore thumb and that was trying to mesh and we're not taking anything away from what Colton did, you know, Yeah, Colton did a great job with, uh, especially for, like, well, how we, had we had, back, yeah, how, how we, we did had, stuff back then. How we had done stuff, because we didn't have a laser, we didn't have a, yeah, yeah we didn't have a lot of that. No, so. so he, what he did was, was pretty amazing, um, but this, this, uh, right here was really difficult for customers to do, unless you were in the program, you've done it a thousand mm -hmm. times, and so we have been doing more of a plug and chug, uh, method where it's you know you're fitting the pieces underneath you folding the main wing over and you're calling it a day whereas this one you had to sandwich them in mm -hmm. so you get like you get wings that were you know off centered and you can see just the structurally even though this is old um, it just wasn't old because enough. structurally even if you just look down here the shape is more of like a parallelogram and those don't really hold very well right but uh, so it's a great looking plane yeah it just didn't function quite as well as we thought it could right. It was a great so, start. It was a great start. Cool. So this is what we've come up with to kind of solve those most of those issues. Okay. Uh, we have just uh, a lot like the 35 before it. We've got just uh, this canopy piece, and uh, it's just, yeah, it's just, just comes right off. Oh, Velcro. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, the main structure is really simple, and it's just a few sheets that you fold up and put together. So I think that uh, helps a lot with how structurally sound it is and how easy yeah. it is to put together. Yeah, and you kind of did, you were kind of playing around with, can you get more of that, uh, that uh, he'll sleep, you know, swoop, swoop down a little bit. Yeah, the like plane, the, cool. the look that the actual Raptor has. It was, uh, it was interesting trying to convert it from like a picture that you saw on the TV to something that you can put together yourself. Very cool. And control surfaces, um, uh, we've got we've got two ailerons in the really big elevator at the back. I think uh, you can probably really calm these down because it's a lot of surface area to really push the push the air. Yeah, and you also want it too so that you can um, really put some high maneuvers. Yeah, on this. you can do. A, I'm sure we haven't really flown we haven't flown it yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll be able to do quite a lot with it. Yeah, with the maiden with your prototype, I mean, it was like you can turn on a dime, mm -hmm. take off, and we really kind of wanted it to have that same Raptor type characteristic. Right? Yeah, it's capable of doing some high stuff. But no, yeah, you got the the underneath wing going way far out, so you got this thing nice and strong, um, easy easy connection here and there, and with your just a standard Supo Sonic motor. Yeah, uh, just our supersonic, and then we have a 40 amp, which I'm probably plenty for this plane. Mm -hmm and just our normal 2200 on the battery. Awesome, and then you're going uh, ailerons split 
with the Y harness into the aileron slot. Yeah, I think that's that's how we have it set up. Yep, Kay. that's how we have it. Have and it then up. the mm. elevator, elevator goes just into the elevator. And we're doing it standard style on the controls, so not uh, elevon setup, just straight mm -hmm. up ailerons, straight yep. up elevator. Um, and the the mixing harness should fix that for you. Very cool. All right, well, you've done it again. You ready to go fly? It? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> really nice uh, I think that was a it was really smooth yeah um, it, being able to go wherever you want and it just snaps to where you want to go mm -hmm. I mean it's the best one you made yet I thought the f-15 so. was was probably your best it was it was nice too yeah and the typhoon once again just different flight characteristics yeah the they're very different planes right and um, but going, this this was really nice yeah just the floating characteristics of it you can snap it um, just the standard Supo, little Grayson Hobby, Supersonic was perfect for it. Mm -hmm. And the rates that I gave Ashton 
Um, probably, what would you think of them? Were they too much? You can calm down just a little bit? Uh, I think they were just about right, actually, because you can still throw it around when you need to, but it's not easy to like uh, lose control of it. So Okay. Um, I gave him 65% on the ailerons um, with a 30% um, Expo, so dual um, 65, Expo 30. And then for the elevator, I gave him 85 dual, and I gave him 30, uh, that sweet spot, the 30% for the Expo. And you probably don't even need as much elevator because I, I, I think the most I cranked the elevator was probably about to a third or a half. Okay. So, so yeah, for those uh, of you who are just starting off, you could probably go 50%. Yeah, if you're just starting and off and you like to really throw the uh, sticks, then you can definitely calm it down a lot more. But uh, no, it flies super smooth. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, well, this is, uh, believe it or not, Ashton's, you know, this is his third one and it's going into the stores. The build kit's already done and, and it's at altitudehobbies.com. And um, you've done it again, man. <laughs> you got, I got you before what, three more years? Yeah. So I think Ashton's probably gonna have his own store by the time he's done with this thing. <laughs> What's next for you, dude? What are you planning well, on the next year? Uh, definitely gonna crash this a few times over the summer, but uh, so I'll have to make a new one. And then <laughs> uh, I started the multi-rotor. I think the uh, racing quad would be really cool. I'd come out and fly with you guys when you have the track set up. Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be really fun with the FEV. Get yourself well worse to, um, into uh, into everything. And then by the time we're uh, your junior year, we'll start really thinking about Big, big scheme, big picture for you. And then senior year, big time project. I'm sure Ashton's, uh, Ashton's gonna have something amazing. And Yeah, uh, I've got three years to think about something to yeah. do, so. <laughs> Very cool. Well guys, support the program by the Raptor. This is the revised Raptor. We will no longer sell the old one. And um, keep flying, thanks for watching, thanks.